What's going on guys? Hey, it's uh, Jason again with NC Adventures and I'm just going to do a uh, video this morning. I'm um, getting ready to go fishing tomorrow at Car Lake. But um, So I'm just out here kind of getting some stuff together. Um, today's Monday, April 24th and I was just going to do a quick video. Hopefully tomorrow the rain is supposed to rain um, but I hopefully it, it, it tapers off and it's not bad and I can get some video of fishing but just in case I didn't I wanted to kind of do something today so I thought about uh, maybe doing like a rod and reel you know just kind of show you guys what I use and whatnot but then I've already got most of that stuff packed up so I think I'll just do uh, maybe just show you guys about my boat um, you may be interested maybe not um, but I'll just go literally from back to front and just show you exactly how I have it set up um, I'm just going to make this real clear. I'm not, this is just something I'm doing for fun. I'm not sponsored by no one. Um, you know, so the stuff that I use is strictly me getting on YouTube, just like you're doing now, and just doing reviews, reading, um, maybe going to Cabela's, asking guys about, you know, what do you think about this, what do you think about that. So anyway, I won't try not to bore you too much. We'll get started. Maybe this video won't be too shaky. Um, <clears throat> we'll start right here. Right off the bat, um, so this is my boat. <clears throat> so as you guys can see, it is a Ranger RT-188C. And I will get a little more in depth on what that C means when I get on up towards the front of the boat. Um, it is a crappy model. And I know you guys say, well, you know, you bass fish, why'd you buy a crappy model? But I'll be very, Explicit. I mean, I will be very detailed about why I did that and, and what I like about this boat. All right, guys, to start off with, uh, we'll start back here with the power plant. This is a Yamaha four stroke 115. And as you can see right there, I bought this boat from Collins, uh, Smithville, North Carolina. But anyway, this is a four stroke Yamaha 115. Absolutely love this motor, had no problems out of it. Um, it's been solid. This boat is 18 foot, 18 inches. Okay, hold on. 18 foot, 8 inches long, and it'll run somewhere in the neighborhood of probably 48 to 50 mile an hour if there's one person on there. <clears throat> All right, let me get over in the boat here. So, to start off with, we got this back compartment. Um, as you can see, I've got a 24 volt trolling motor system, so I have two trolling batteries, one, two, and then one cranking battery. Um, this is a somewhere in the neighborhood of a 25 gallon gas tank. So this is this is pretty full back here. Not a whole lot of spare room. I've, like I said, I've got it pretty full with what I got. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but back here. Right back here is my dual uh, Real Pro two bank charger, which charges up my two trolling batteries. All right, so coming forward here, we have three seating as you can see right here. We have our dual live well. It does have an aerator on it. Um, I don't know the capacity of it right off hand, but it's it's a good size live well. Um, it's very suffice for what you need. I've just got my coal tags in there. <clears throat> Nothing overly special about that. Now here on the back, we have on each side, we have storage, and this is not dry storage, and, and I'm gonna tell you some pros and cons later, but um, definitely, um, so we got dry storage on each side. I don't have nothing in either one of mine. I kind of just let the, the co-angler that fishes with me, let him put, you know, his stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear this rain, but it's raining pretty hard. Hopefully it's not muting out what I'm saying. All right, so going forward, again, we got three seating. The middle seat folds down and it is a step. So I'm gonna step down here, get turned around. <clears throat> Um, so this I really do like some boats this is an aluminum boat some boats have this some boats don't um, really like this seats come up and then we have storage under the, the seats so I have life jackets um, throw cushion 
I've got my uh, rain suit stuff here, which I'll be using tomorrow. So those, those, that's those two seats. And then put my tackle bag. This seat comes up single by itself. And there again, um, just miscellaneous. Got a first aid kit, a few tools, my rope. Really like that. This is dry storage. This is one of the dry storage. It can rain, you can spray it down, whatever. No water gets in there. Now, <clears throat> so over here, we have a rod rocker. <clears throat> um, this rod locker is right here on the side. Open it up. And you can see down inside I have my rods. It has tubes for nine rods. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but I will tell you, basically it will hold, um, basically it will hold six rods comfortably without beating and banging and them touching. And then you can pretty much put two or three more in there, but they'll be on top of each other. Um, so basically eight rods pretty comfortably without, without any problem. Um, and if you'll see, I put carpet on the sides. It had a little mesh stuff here in the bottom, but I put carpet on the sides. Uh, just something I did to keep from, you know, anything happening, <clears throat> keep from scratching my, my reels. Like I said, guys, later on, maybe later this week, I'll do a rod and reel arsenal and let you guys know what I use, why I use it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. So this is, we're talking about the crappy model. Let me turn this around. First of all, if you guys can see, I'm sitting in the passenger seat and feet straight out and look at the room I have up in front of me. That is a big deal to me. Um, most bass boats, <clears throat> this thing set up here. Sorry guys, we're shaking this here. Most bass boats and even aluminum boats, if you don't go with this crappy model, you just get a regular model, what you'll have is a bigger center storage for your rods up front. You'll have more storage up front, I will, I will say that. Your rods will not go down the side here. But in doing that, they extend the front deck outward. When they extend it out, your co-angler fishing with you has nowhere to put his tackle bag. Nowhere to put, when he sits in this seat, his feet are like this right here. He cannot stretch out. I'm going from the front deck to the back deck to help him net a boat. He's coming from the back deck to the front deck. He has adequate stepping room. He steps right down on this in the center, right up on most bass boats and i'm not knocking any boat i'm just this is personal jason on bass boats and other boats you don't have that room so therefore you don't have room to store anything else any of his tackle any of that stuff now i have put some straps in the back um right here and back there his rods can come right across here that's kind of nice for him all right so i'll move on i'll get off of that that's the reason for the crappy model didn't know that, really didn't know that, that at the time when I bought this boat, I just knew I liked the extra room, leg room. I didn't, you know, it kind of cuts you off for storage, but um, we'll go through that in a minute. So here we are at the console. Um, <clears throat> very nice console. Um, as you can see, I've got a Garmin unit up front here. This is a, just got this this year. It's an Ecomap um, 73SV. Um, you got fuel gauge, mile prior gauge, trim gauge, and <clears throat> RPM. And then of course your standard toggle switches, horn, bilge pump, front aerator. This has two aerators, front and rear, interior lights. On this side, you've got rear aerator and navigation lights. Um, if you'll see this little switch right here, guys, this is the main power. I put this in myself main power running to the console up here i just went in there and put a switch um you'll i've had another boat with uh, these type of switches and if you go down a dirt path bumpy whatever those toggle switches will toggle on you you get out and next thing you know your bilge pumps running the aerators running whatever so i put a a main on and off switch i mean just simple on off just cut the red line and you know split it put it on the switch that way, um, at the end of the day, when I cut off my, it runs everything from, from the back of the boat to the front, with the exception of the trolling motor, it will cut all the power off to the boat, and with the exception of the ignition. 
So I really like that. All right, so going up front, <clears throat> you see my, again, my seven, seven inch Garmin EcoMap. Really like Garmin. Had Lorentz, nothing against Lorentz, nothing against Humminbird. Just try, decided, you know, through some reviews to try Garmin and really like Garmin. <clears throat> so going up front, get to the front deck here. This is dry storage. This is the main storage you have on the boat. Um, it's not super big, but you can see I've got a container in there with all my extra lures that I, if I run out of my best on, on my tackle bag, I go in there. Little toolbox with just necessary tools for breakdowns. <clears throat> and then the second compartment here is the front live well. I have to the best of my ability turn this into storage. Um, I've got the hose plug and that's uh, food that I take with me when I go go fishing. <clears throat> got a front pedestal seat and this boat come with very nice seats. I took the seat off the back because we normally just we don't sit down fishing uh, but I do have a lean seat right here and then getting on up front you got one more storage area um, and it's big enough for a cooler so I keep my cooler in there with my drinks um, not dry storage so <clears throat> on to the very front I have brand new this year another Garmin eco map this is a 93 SV really like it I have the motor guide trolling motor this is their x5 <clears throat> if I can get you around here to see it that is their motor guide x5 digital 80 pound 24 volt love it I had just installed this TH Marine handle love it and really guys that is the extent of the boat um, very pleased with it swing away tongue spare tire Ranger aluminum trailer let me give you 30 seconds about this trailer um, Collins <clears throat> which is where I told you guys I bought this boat from all these boats that I've probably looked at over 50 that they have had up there at Collins of this Ranger RT 188 series boat these boats from the factory come with a painted trailer Collins orders every single one of their boats with an aluminum trailer kudos to them for that excellent idea if I want to go now I'm not going to take this out in, in deep salt water by no means but if I want to go inshore or brackish water fishing you have the aluminum trailer everything else is stainless on it um, the wheels are aluminum you know you got an aluminum boat you finish fishing for today down in the brackish water pull it out run through the, the car wash a quick spray off and that's it that's all I do on a normal fishing day this has a rough liner in it too it's um I don't know what they call it a tough liner rough liner whatever but sprayed in here and it's camoed the end of the day of fishing I pull up I don't even have to do nothing in this boat I just back it right in this my shop and that's it so anyway guys I hope you guys um <clears throat> hope you guys kind of like the tour um, on a serious note, I'm, I'm actually begging, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get something going here. Um, please give me a, <clears throat> a like and a subscribe. Um, and stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going fishing tomorrow, and I'm going fishing in a tournament Friday. Definitely going to try to get video from them, and I'll get that posted up and edited when I can. And maybe later on this week sometime, I'll just kind of do a, a rod and reel arsenal let you guys know what i use i have used literally almost every single rod i've been fishing my whole life and this channel ain't gonna be all about fishing i love to hunt um hunt season rolls around you'll see me do some hunting videos um and i'll do some videos on some of my guns i'm an advocate um handgun collector i, I normally keep between 40 and 50 handguns at all times and I, I i may go through some of them to show you guys probably ain't gonna get into shooting and and stuff like that um that's that's not my forte but um, I do like to shoot, but I don't really want to get into shoot, video shooting. Um, but I may, sh you know, just do some videos on, on some of my guns and whatnot. So anyway, hope you guys liked it.